We're in uh, section 3.4, and we are continuing on to example number Cinco de Maya. Ay! Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, here we go. So uh, we are now doing example number five here, and this looks a bit crunchy if you ask me. E to the power of 2x minus 3, e to the power of x plus 2 equals 0. Okay, and uh, this right here is taken on a specific form. And the type of form that it looks like is kind of like a quadratic, okay? And um, so if you kind of want to think of it as like this, we could think of this as e to the power of x squared, okay? So, so basically, I'm just rewriting my first term as e to the power of x squared minus 3e to, to the x plus 2 equals 0, okay? If you, I don't know if you see this, though, but this is kind of like a quadratic. We have x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Okay, we're like, we have our a right here. So this is kind of like our ax squared. This is kind of like our bx. And this is like our c. So we're going to treat this as if it's a quadratic. Okay, and if you remember back in your algebra days, right, in algebra 1 and also in algebra 2, uh, if you ever want to solve a quadratic, right, we always set it equal to 0, and then we factor the left side. So we need to factor this. Okay, and so when we factor a quadratic, we're going to have our two sets of parentheses. Okay, and now what we need to figure out is what are the values that are going to be inside the parentheses. So just to remind us here, um, like how this works, our first number right here and this guy right here, when you take that product, that, that has to give you our first term. And that's the way you do any kind of... Um, Factoring a quadratic is these two terms when you multiply must give you ex squared. So in that case, if we come over here, then what times what will give us e to the power of 2x? Well, that would give us e to the x times e to the x. How did you get that so quickly? That's a good question. Well, how did I get this? Well, we, we have to review our rules of exponents. If I had a to the power of m times a to the power of n, don't we just keep our a, and what do we do with m and n? We m plus n. We take their sum, right? So th does that make sense then that we want to keep the same base e, but if I want to get 2x, don't I do x plus x? Oh, that's how you do it. See, and there we go. All right, right? So that's why it's going to be e to the power of 2x. Now, uh, let me change my colors here. Now, check this out. What if, hold on here, uh, or how do we get then these two terms here? So this guy and uh, this guy, that's supposed to be a different color there. I'm not sure what happened. Let me try that again here. Maybe if I do that, is, is that going to work? No, nope, that's not working either. Oh, well. So these two guys now, when you multiply, must give you your last term. And that's the way factoring quadratics always works. So we just say what times what is going to give us two. And I'm just going to put a 2 times 1, right? We could do 2 times 1 or 1 times 2. And the way that we figure this out is we have to get now negative 3 e to the power of x. So what you do is that you multiply those guys, and then you multiply these two guys, and they have to add up to get this, okay? That's how you know that if you're factored correctly. So let's see here. 2, let's see, um, and then we have to pick a sign here. So I'm going to make them both negative. Well, because if I want this to be a positive 2, right, they either have to be both negative or both positive, right? If this is 2, these both have to be either be both positive or both negative. And I know I want a negative in the middle, so I'm going to make them both negative. So negative 2 times e to the 2x is negative 2e to the x. And e to the x times negative 1 is negative e to the x. If I add those together, right, I get negative 3e to the x. And there it is. Voila. I know that I factored this correctly. So this is the exact same thing as this guy. So let me just write that a little nicer over here then. So we have e to the x minus 2 times e to the x minus 1. And this is all equal to 0. And if you remember from algebra, uh, if I have two factors multiplied and if they're equal to 0, then that means we set each factor equal to, to 0. So we'll set this guy, e to the x minus 2 equals 0. And then we'll do this guy, e to the x minus 1 equals 0. 
And let me just make a note real quick. Have you ever under what or um, have you ever wondered why do we do this? Okay, you know that in math, if there's ever a rule that we do, you could always ask why. Meaning, why do we do that though? Like, why is this a rule? And we can go through the proof of this and explain why. There's there's a proof for everything. And and actually, the more that you can understand where things come from, then you're then that means you'll no longer be memorizing rules. It's kind of like going into a history class. If you just memorize facts, you're going to forget it after a few days. But if you understand the story and the context and what's going on, how that affects you, you're going to know a lot more. So let me just show you why we do this. If I say A times B equals zero, okay? Pretend this is our A and this is our B. If A times B equals zero, what's your conclusion about either A or B? Isn't it true that either A is zero or what? Or B is zero. And that's where this has come from. That's why we set this term equal to zero. Or we're going to set the second term equal to zero. And then we're going to solve for X then. So that's where it comes from. This little simple um, little um, exercise right there. Okay. So now what we have to do is actually solve now for X. So let's just start with this guy. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So E to the X equals 2. And I don't know what this number is. E to the power of what equals 2. However... Uh, what we can do, though, um, is um, we can take the natural log of both sides. So say if I said ln of e to the x equals ln of e to the x. If I took the natural log of both sides, hopefully you know what this is by now, right? This right here has a base e, which means that those cancel. So I get x equals, right? And then here, if I took the natural log uh, right here, this is going to be ln then of x. So that would be our precise answer right there. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, not, not of x right here. I'm sorry, this right here should be um, a 2, right? So let me just fix that then real quick. So we're going to take the ln right there um, of 2, right? So that's basically there. So this is going to be a 2. Good. So the answer is, is um, ln of 2. Now, what about this guy over here? We're going to solve it pretty much the same way here. We're going to add 1. So e to the x equals 1. And then what are we going to do to both sides? Take the natural log. So ln of e to the x and ln of 1. And we know that this right here cancels out. So I get x equals ln of 1. So we get two answers here. One answer is ln of 2. And the one is the natural log of 1. All right. And that's our example number cinco. I...